Hello and welcome to our Urban Saints all-inclusive Facebook Live, the Fiddles Box Special. During this session we're going to be exploring what a Fiddles Box is, what you might use it for, who might use it and the kind of things that you might include in your Fiddles Box. If you've got a Fiddles Box of your own then we love to see a picture of it so do send that in the comments uh, under this Facebook post. And we'd love it if you could share, like and comment on this post because that really encourages us but it also spreads the news to lots of other people as well. So let's get cracking and over the next 10 to 15 minutes we're going to be exploring all there is to know about fiddles boxes. So what is a fiddles box? Well, as the name suggests, it's a box full of things that you can fiddle with. It doesn't have to be a box, it can be a tin, a bag, a basket, uh, anything you like that contains a bunch of things uh, that can be used by uh, children, young people or adults uh, to help to uh, focus and concentrate uh, and to just give them something to do with their hands during those times when they really just uh, need something to, to help with concentration and to help us uh, to, uh, to engage with whatever's going on uh, at that particular time. It's something we all do. Uh, probably the most well-used fiddles toy is our friend the, the pen. How many of us, when we're on the phone uh, or in a meeting or uh, maybe even watching a Facebook Live broadcast, uh, are there clicking a pen, uh, maybe spinning it around like some kind of little uh, uh, baton, uh, or, or doodling and scribbling away and doing things like that. Just something that we use our hands uh, for and, uh, and it just helps us to focus, helps us to concentrate, helps us to engage better with the things we, we're doing. We, we like to have other sensory inputs when we're doing stuff. How many of us like to have music in the background when we're concentrating on something, doing a bit of work or something like that? So a, a fiddles box is a box of a range of different things that meet the needs of lots of different people and we'll look at a whole selection uh, from my fiddles box uh, in a, a minute or two's time. The kinds of, uh, of people that would use a fiddles box could be anybody, could be children, young people or adults. It particularly is helpful for uh, children and young people with additional or special needs where perhaps they need some additional sensory input to help them to stay engaged and focused with the things that are going on in a group session or in church uh, or uh, in their um, Sunday school or youth work uh, events that are happening. And so it, it can be used in, in a number of ways. A great way of, uh, for you to actually get a feel for how a fiddle box could help you and the children and young people that you're working with uh, could be to get some things together, and I'll show you some ideas for that in a moment, create your own fiddles box, and next time you have a children's team meeting or a youth team meeting, get the fiddles box out and let all your team have a go at the things that are there. They'll soon be putting their pen down and picking up something else to fiddle with instead. So let's get into what's in my fiddles box and that's some of the kinds of things that you might want to include in a fiddles box of your own. Don't forget to send us any photos of your fiddles box if you've got one to hand. We've had a couple that have come in and we'll be sticking those up uh, on this Facebook uh, stream so that you can see them as well. Uh, and do remember to share and like and comment uh, on uh, this stream as we go through it together. So lots of things that you can put uh, in a fiddles box. Perhaps uh, a couple of the, uh, the, the best known fiddle toys at the moment uh, include the, uh, the Fidget Cube. Um, here's our own Urban Saints branded one uh, that's available uh, from uh, our website. And it's a cube that has lots and lots of different things to fiddle with. Uh, things that spin, things that click, things you can press. Uh, it's a great little uh, toy just to hold in your hand uh, and use and uh, help you to uh, just have something that you can uh, manipulate whilst you're listening to, to something that's happening. So uh, a fidget cube works really well. Uh, another thing that uh, we're seeing a lot of publicity around at the moment are finger spinners. Uh, you may well have come across lots of press about finger spinners 
uh, and schools uh, that are either embracing them massively uh, or in some cases are banning them. But um, they again are just a great little um, aid to allow somebody just to be spinning this whilst listening to, to what's happening uh, with uh, a talk or another part of your program. Uh, there was some recent publicity about a great theological uh, way of using finger spinners. If you imagine that each part of this finger spinner uh, represents uh, part of the Trinity, so God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Um, when you spin it, they all become one. So it's a great way of maybe introducing at a very simple level uh, a little bit of a talk about the Trinity. So having things like cubes and spinners uh, are going to be great for your fiddles box. Um, but um, some children might just like something that they can hold and stroke, something furry, something soft that they can squeeze or stroke or hold uh, and that will comfort them, help them, uh, help them to focus and concentrate a little better. So you could have things like that, uh, furry things uh, in your fiddler's box. Uh, other children or young people might like something they can squeeze. Uh, so something that's, that's squeezy, uh, a, a squeezy toy like this. Um, or a, a soft foam ball. Um, these work really well as just again just a stress releaser. Um, do you remember the, the, the squeeze balls from a few years ago? Um, it's the same idea, just something you can squeeze and hold. They make great um, stress releasing uh, additions to uh, your fiddles box. Or maybe something uh, that you can twist and, uh, and play with uh, just in your hand. Here's, a, here's our little friendly caterpillar. Uh, and we can just twist him around and, and turn him around. And again, it's, it's quite therapeutic, quite relaxing to do that. Um, there are other versions available, uh, little blocks here, uh, or a, just a, a little plastic uh, twisty toy that you can just manipulate. And, and again, it's just a great way of helping a child or young person to, uh, to relax as they use that. Uh, some children young people may need uh, more of a, a sensory input from, from stretching something, pulling something. These are exercise bands. Uh, you can use these in a variety of ways. Uh, different strengths are available, so you could have uh, a selection of these that uh, children and young people could choose from. Uh, or just something small like a little stretchy person here. And, and uh, again, just having this in your hand and stretching it and pulling it, that can be a, a great way of relaxing and, and just a great uh, sort of therapeutic uh, stress releaser there as well. Uh, we've got little stretchy people, uh, but we've also got uh, little bendy people as well. And again, just having uh, something like this that you can just play around with. Um, don't mind if the uh, child or young person uh, is actually looking at uh, the item from the fiddles box. Um, because uh, they may actually be, well they will still be listening to you uh, and still taking in what you're saying, but not every child and young person, and particularly uh, some with additional needs, uh, will be able to maintain eye contact throughout uh, a, a talk or, or a, a longer part of your programme. Uh, and so uh, if they're looking at their fiddle toy, uh, they may uh, be just um, focusing uh, their sight on this, but they're hearing uh, on what you're saying and, and still be taking that message in. Um, other things you could have uh, include, for example, a, a pot of Play-Doh. Uh, now, uh, my lad James, uh, that uh, some of you uh, that are regulars to uh, some, some of the work that we do here at Urban Saints in this space may be familiar with, uh, his go-to item from the fiddles box uh, is Play-Doh. He just loves uh, to be able to squeeze a, a piece of Play-Doh and that helps him uh, to be able to relax and to focus and to engage with what's going on uh, at that particular moment in the session. It's again quite a relaxing, helpful uh, aid for that. So Play-Doh, um, something really good to add to your fiddles box. Random other things that you could include. Uh, a slinky. Slinkies are always great fun to, to play with and to hold and to manipulate. So uh, you could uh, perhaps include a slinky. Now here's one um, that comes with a bit of a warning. A nice big piece of Velcro. Uh, now this is great, this is a terrific fiddle toy, it's a great way of uh, relieving stress, um, but it's not something you would want to give to a child or young person during a, a quiet contemplative part of your service. Uh, so uh, save this for when the worship band is cranking the volume up to 11 uh, and you've got a young person who's finding that maybe a little bit harder uh, and amongst other things that you could try to help them there, give them a bit of Velcro. Uh, and that might be uh, a great aid to uh, stress release 
uh, and, and uh, support for them there as well. A uh, couple of other things that you might include in your fiddles box could be something with uh, a little bit of weight to them, perhaps a bean bag. Sometimes the, the sensory, uh, the sensation of, of a bit of weight can be helpful. Uh, you can stuff a sock full uh, of beans as well to make a bigger version of this and that can be uh, a really useful thing to have uh, available as well. So uh, bean bags uh, really work uh, as well. Uh, and uh, well, pretty much the final thing um, in, um, in my uh, fiddles box uh, is something that's got a, a bit of a light to it, something that flashes. Uh, again, that can be a, a great uh, go-to item uh, for a number of children. And so having a range of different things in your fiddles box, and there are lots more besides. Um, a, another great addition to a fiddles box is pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are cheap and easy to get hold of. Uh, but can be just great as a as a twisty toy, as a cheaper alternative to some of the twisty toys that we looked at earlier. Lots of different things uh, that you could add to your own fiddles box to make up a good collection for yourself. And if you find that uh, several children or young people uh, like the same thing from the box each time it comes out, um, just get more of those things. Uh, make sure that everybody gets the thing that helps them to focus, to engage, uh, to relax, to stay calm uh, and to give them something to do with their hands because um, let's face it, uh, for a lot of the children and young uh, people that we uh, work with in our children's groups and in our youth groups, if we don't give them something that's safe and appropriate and helpful for them to fiddle with, they'll find something to fiddle with or somebody to fiddle with uh, and so having a fiddles box uh, full of things that are safe and useful and helpful for them uh, is going to make a real difference to the way in which uh, that session works. As I said earlier, try this out for yourself in your own children's and youth team meetings. Get a fiddles box, get some things in it, see how that helps your own meeting uh, to, uh, to, to really go well. Uh, and then bring that into your own children's and youth work session. It will be a novelty to start with. Uh, bring it out in a session uh, that uh, perhaps towards the end of a session uh, so there's the opportunity for uh, the distraction of the new uh, to be uh, used in a, in a way that doesn't get in the way of the message that you're trying to get across. Uh, but then as you make it a more regular part of what you do, uh, it's going to be increasingly helpful for the children and young people that you're working with. I hope you've been sharing your pictures of your films boxes. As I say, we had a couple that have come through at least and it's been great to see them. One was a fiddles tin. Uh, which uh, is terrific to see. The other was in a basket. Uh, so use what you have, use what uh, works best for you. But give this a try and it'd be great to hear how you get on and uh, what success you have as you use a fiddles box for yourself. I don't know if we've had any uh, questions that have come in, uh, anything that the, uh, that the team have, uh, uh, have been uh, answering, but uh, if you've been sending your questions in, hopefully you've been getting the answers as we've talked through this session together. If you want to continue the conversation and you want to find out more about the things uh, that we're doing, uh, both here at Urban Saints and wider, uh, then do uh, have a look at uh, our website, urbansaints.org slash all-inclusive. Uh, do follow me on my Twitter account, at mark underscore j underscore arnold or uh, on my blog, which is all about uh, additional needs inclusion and working with children and young people in that space. Uh, so that's the additional needs blog or visit us at the Additional Needs Alliance, either on the Additional Needs Alliance Facebook group, uh, find that by searching for Additional Needs Alliance in Facebook, or on our website, additionalneedsalliance.org.uk. But I hope you found this session helpful. Uh, it's been great to chat about fiddles boxes uh, and I really hope that you find um, using a fiddles box will really help you in your children's and youth work. So thanks and goodbye for now.